Right, pal, it's time for my Premier League predictions now, and then I'll do the League 2 ones afterwards um, in a separate video. So, starting from 20th up to the first position. Um, first off in 20th position, we're going with a team that got promoted last season. Um, I don't think they're strong enough for the Premier League. Um, they were poor in it the last time they were in it. So... 20th position for me is Southampton, the playoff winners. I just, it is a tough league, it's a Premier League. There's such a massive difference. I mean, they brought in some players, but I don't think Southampton are good enough. In 19th position, I've gone with a team that was also in the Championship last season. Starting this season with a, uh, I believe they're starting with a point deduction, don't know, but they've lost a key player in Dewsbury Hall and. Leicester City in 19th position for me. 18th position, I'm going with a team that was, was that are in the Premier League and were last season. Um, struggled last season, only just survived. Um, they were just lucky that there were three teams poorer than them. And uh, I'm going for Nottingham Forest in 18th position. In 17th, I'm going with a team that were promoted, and I, do you know what? It, it might be a little bit of biasness in this, and because uh, I do have a bit of a soft spot for this club, and it's it's just like the, they've done wonders in the last two seasons in getting promotion and promotion, and with an unbelievable manager in Kira McKenna, uh, 17 for Ipswich Town. Honestly, they've probably got a League One level team, but with that manager, he gets them playing absolutely unbelievable and every credit to him. As soon as Kieran McKenna goes, I think that's when Ipswich start being in trouble, but I do think that even if they do go back down, they've got a decent championship side to get back up. I, you know, all credit to Kieran McKenna with that club. He's done absolute wonders. Uh, 16th position, a team that... I, they're just weird. They're just weird. I mean, the, I, I have never been to this ground this way. I'm, I'm a bit pissed off as well. But um, with Brentford in 16th position, Ivan Tony will keep them up. If he goes, possibly struggling even more and may even drop it in the bottom three. Um, Whistler or Vizsla, whatever his name is, Vice, I don't know that many players at Premier League. I don't tend to watch it because. I think the better leagues are the championship below. Not much uh, cheating down. But back on a Brentford. Uh, yeah, 16th position for Brentford. In 15 for going for a team that are just... Oh, it's just been awful watching them. It really has. It's uh, that last, The last few seasons, just a club like Everton should not be struggling at the bottom end of the... Uh, they've got Premier League. They've got poor owners... And the the only good thing they've got is Sean Dyche at the moment. So I'm going for 15th position Everton. In 14th, we're going for a team that were, I think they were mid-table at the end of last season. And they've done fairly well. But I do think uh, with the age of the squad and there's a lot more stronger teams in this league, I'm going for 14th position Fulham. 13 position going for Bournemouth. I'm just going to say it, Bournemouth. I don't want to do uh, much explanation about it. They've overachieved in Premier League and they're just going to continue doing that. 12 position, Wolves. I just think mid-table in the Premier League. Everyone expects them to be near the bottom, but they always pull off uh, an achievement by getting mid-table. 11 position, they've got a new manager this club. And, um, you know, I've always expected them to be near the bottom, but they do overachieve every season. They're more or less in the top 10 or around that position. Um, I'm going for Brighton and North Albion. Into the 10th position. Um, now, I did these predictions like last week, but I am wrote them down. But um, a few bits of changes. Lost a key player to Bayern Munich. And currently, the defender in Matt Gay is in talks with uh, potentially going to Newcastle so um, 
if it had been the Palace side that was there last season, I'd have predicted them to be in top eight. But 10th position for uh, Palace, possibly even going down a little bit further with uh, changes into the team. A new manager come in and he revitalised them last season and really good uh, end to the season. But 10th position for me for Palace. Ninth position, I've just gone with uh, the best of the potential top eight rest. I've gone for West Ham. It'll be an hard place to go to is uh, the Olympic Stadium. But I think teams will struggle. I mean, the atmosphere is unbelievable. No, the, the atmosphere that the West Ham fans can create is can be intimidating for any club to go down there, I suppose. Um, eighth position... A team that are in the Champions League next season. That's solely the reason for it. I mean, European football can tend to put you down there. And credit to Unai Emery at Aston Villa. But uh, they massively overachieved last season. I think they're going to be eight, eighth position due to European football. Seventh position going for Chelsea. All that money and they're just dog shit. Other than Cole Palmer, they're just poor. Um Really don't think that will... I mean, they're in Europe next season. I don't know which trophy. I think it's the Conference League. But um, European football will slide down the table and I just can't see him be challenging that top four anyway. Um, sixth position is the only team in the top eight that are in Europe next season. I think, um, I think that will help them finish above two clubs that are in Europe anyway. I think Newcastle United with Eddie Howe in charge will finish sixth. Fifth position, just to miss out on the Champions League positions, I've gone with a club that have lost a legend in charge and now when they've got a lad who's come over from Holland in charge and in Arnest slots and Liverpool fifth position, it's a transitional time and I think that they can finish fifth. Um, the squad is good enough to finish third, but who knows what can happen under Arnest slot. Potentially third to fifth. Now, I'll put fifth as worst position, potentially. So, yeah, I'm going fifth for Liverpool. Tottenham in fourth. Tottenham always finish fourth four around there. Uh, and Ange will... Ange ball. Isn't it? Ange ball. So, um, yeah, just fourth for Tottenham. Third position. I've gone with Man United. And the reason for that is... They've got to finish in that uh, in that mix because if not, Ten Hag, the clown, will be Oscars. And do you know what? They've they won the uh, FA Cup last season, and the they've brought in the uh, is it La Lano Yano whatever I don't fucking know because I don't know Premier League that well. I, I know bits, but I um, don't focus on it that much. But yeah, I'm going third position for. Ten Hag clowns in uh, Manchester United. Uh, second position. I've gone for a team that have finished there for the last two seasons. And Arsenal. Top of the league, champions. Snooze Fest, Manchester City. And uh, that's all I'm going to say on them too. So yeah, that's my Premier League predictions. Let me know in the comments what you think on your guys' predictions.